Uh, this is the Worldcon Fan Inquisition at Westcon 68. This is the 2017 portion, and we are continuing with Helsinki Go. Hi, I'm Kevin Roach. I'm your emergency holographic Crystal Huff and Emily Aro, uh, who, due to a sudden influx of life, had to cancel at the last minute their uh, trip here two weeks ago. So I have assembled all the information I have to hand. I may have to pass some questions down the road for them to respond to you personally. Um, we are bidding for Wednesday, August 9th through Sunday the 13th in the uh, Mesakeska's Helsinki Exhibition and Convention Center, which was completely renovated and refurbished two years ago. Um, we have a large and international committee, uh, some of whom have Worldcon experience, Nolly's there in the back waving at you too, uh, a mix of Finnish and North American and other nationalities working on it. And not only do we have Worldcon experience, but we have FinCon experience. This group is responsible in large part for running the 5,000 person Finnish National Science Fiction Convention for many years. Um, Helsinki is Finland's capital, and you can expect, first of all, the sunniest Worldcon in history because it's at 60 degrees north latitude, which means 17 hour long days. Uh, temperatures are roughly uh, 72 degrees, and I don't know the humidity there, but help. I'm told it's nice. I have to take their word for it. Uh, the facility is large. The contract we have allows us to tune how much of it we actually use according to the membership rates we get. As I said, FinCon is 5,000 people, so it can certainly accommodate a usual size Worldcon, but if for some reason it's slightly smaller, the contract allows us to shrink the amount of the facility that we're using. There are, however, 21 places to eat and drink, including a shop where you can just buy things to take away and put together a sandwich or something. I tried to find out if uh, they have gluten-free and other, um, they do, there we go. Thank you, Nolly. And Fazer, who runs the uh, restaurants, uh, makes a point of locally sourcing and using fresh ingredients wherever possible. What? Oh, I'm sorry. What Nolly said uh, in response to the question, is there are many people in Finland with food sensitivities? And so uh, all of the menus and restaurants in the area are prepared to deal with those dietary requirements. Uh, in terms of accessibility, there is one hotel attached directly to the center the Holiday Inn Helsinki with 244 rooms. 35 of them are allergen free and seven of them are fully accessible rooms. Um, the metro, this is a modern European city, so mass transit is the way to get around. The uh, metro buses and trams are uh, accessible and in fact the ramps are rated to up to uh, 300 kilos, so over 600 pounds. So that will handle almost any Moby I know about. Uh, and all the facilities at the convention center are ac fully accessible. Uh, hotels, I'm sorry you can't read the numbers. I ran a search yesterday or two days ago on Google and was finding room rates in the $100 range. An important point about Finland is hotel rates include breakfast and all taxes and there is no tipping. So the number on the box is what you actually pay per night. There are no surprises. Uh, we already have an agreement in place. All attendees will get a uh, transit pass for the convention. At this point it's a week, it might be more, and it's a very generous offering from the city. So getting around all the hotels in the area about no more than 20 minutes away, and that's also how you go see the town. Uh, Helsinki is a major European travel hub, and uh, as of December, airfares, uh, London was $170, LA was $1,000. So. That's not too bad. And there is no landing tax like there was for London because they're not planning to rebuild the uh, airport. They did, however, just finish, it opened Tuesday, the ring train that goes directly from the airport to the station nearest to the convention center. It's across the plaza from the convention center. So that's really good news. Uh, I got this excited email on Wednesday that they got to go for a ride on the train. And uh, an important point, everyone in Finland speaks English. There, are, there will be no language barriers because hardly anyone speaks Finnish, so they all speak English. Uh, and uh, we do have a website. More important, 
tomorrow night we're having a party in room 100, 1115. So I think that's all I have prepared. Okay, that was under time. I'll add your presentation time to QT. Uh, questions for um, Helsinki? Oh, oh, right, the winning question. Okay, so um, how will the flavor of the con be reflected in the convention? That is, if I never leave the convention, how will I know I'm in your city? Well, as I mentioned, only 244 of the area rooms are attached to the convention center, so you have no way to <laughs> go to the convention without also going through and seeing the city, which has many historical items that we will see, if nothing else, from the tram as you're taking it from your hotel. Okay, other questions for Helsinki? So the, there is no monolithic uh, fan community in Europe. Oh, I'm sorry, the question was two part. First part is what are we doing to attract people of color to the convention? And the second, what is the Helsinki, the Finnish fan community like in terms of diversity? Um, I don't have a good answer for the second part because I don't know those numbers. Nolly, do you have a good feeling for that? I do know, yeah, I do know that uh, Finland is, uh, has quite a diverse population, but it does skew um, very strongly Scandinavian, obviously. <laughs> Nordic. Nordic, yes. Um, I do know that uh, they make a point of saying that there isn't a monolithic uh, or, or siloed fan community like we have in, in North America, where you have comic fans and TV fans. It's just all the fans. And as I said, FinCon is 5,000 people. It's different than Worldcon because you walk in for free. However, just uh, last weekend, to uh, prove they could do it, this group of people ran Archipelagon, which filled an island with 800 people. They sold out in advance, and two rave reviews. And it was a more traditional pre-reg, panels, everything. They wanted to do a test run to make sure that they weren't uh, talking, at, talking through their hat about being able to organize a standard fan-run convention. And all of the reviews I have read are, are raves. Um, so I wish I'd been there now that I've read about it. Um, so I wish I had a better answer for you, but that's the best I can do. Other, qu okay. Oh. So there is no tradition of hotel room parties in Europe at all. The question was, what about parties? How are you gonna do that? So the plan is something like the fan village in London, uh, something done in the conference facility, and they already have a forkage waiver, and they have a corkage waiver for non-alcoholic beverages. They're still negotiating on whether anything can be done regarding adult beverages in the convention center. But that is the plan, to do something like the fan village that we had in London. Consuite will be, uh, hospitality would also be in the convention center. Since there is no one host hotel, everything would be there. Now, transit runs 24-7. The frequency is slightly lower at night, but the trains and trams and buses run all the time. This is not a car-based city. It is a transit-based city. Do they have taxis? Uh, the question is, do they have taxis? Yes, they do. Um, in most cases, it is easier and less expensive to, uh, to take the uh, light rail or the bus. <laughs> so the question was, is all the candy licorice flavored? Um, no, but it is uh, famous. The salmiyaki, the salt licorice, is famous, which is why we always have it at the parties and the bid tables. Is all the alcohol licorice flavored? And the question is, is it all the alcohol licorice flavored? No, and you can come taste some interesting things tomorrow night. Not quite as many as we had in San Antonio, because I had to supply it locally, but uh, we have some interesting... Uh, uh, alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks for tomorrow night. Mike. Who will be the con chairs should you win the bid? Question is who will be the con chairs if we win the bid? I'd hope to be able to announce that today, but because of the situation that kept Crystal and Emily from coming out, uh, it is still under discussion. Um, and they asked me not to pre-announce anything. Um, they're close to a decision, but it isn't quite ready because of life. By Sasqua, and they will obviously be able to uh, announce that. Do you have an anti-harassment anti policy? 
we have an anti-harassment uh, uh, philosophy on our website. The exact code of conduct has not been written, but there absolutely will be a, uh, an anti-harassment and behavior code of conduct. Other questions for Helsinki? Thank you for your time.